I was 14 and my brother was only eight when I left Cuba. We didn't have the chance to play music together. Worse than that is we didn't have a chance to be in each other's life. Havana is only 90 miles from Florida. What the United States was doing was not working. This is not just about politics. This is about family. Aldo and Ilmar Lopez Gavilan are brothers from Havana, Cuba. Years separated them as Aldo played piano in Cuba and Ilmar formed the Harlem Quartet as a violin player in New York. Ilmar and I have always had this dream to play together, to go around the world together. Ilmar and I are going to While collaborating with my brother, he said, dream come true. Please welcome the wonderful Ilmar and Aldo Lopez Gavilan. Before these days, we were not able to play in the, in the US, so it's very emotional to share the stage with my brother. By not having so much exchange, we're missing out on so many great musicians. This is a friend I made down in Cuba, incredible composer and pianist. Oh my God, this is amazing. Lincoln Center, Joshua Bell, Dave Matthews, the whole orchestra. And lights, go. It's like really big for us, really big. This is going to change music. This moment feels like a rebirth of possibilities. Effective immediately, I am canceling the last administration's deal with Cuba. Now wondering what happens next in a relationship between Cuba and the US, which was beginning to change. The situation that now is just there, that is closed to the United States in Cuba, is the world affected? The thing is, in music, you're always finding the language inside the music. We have a very distorted view. Cuba is an incredibly creative and rich culture. The culture can't have no borders or limits. The possibility, all of that came from a dream from here. This is my paradise. Through music, sometimes you can achieve more powerful things than with politics. 